Hello everyone, so we have Ishika Singh here who is going to tell us about how she got the opportunity for Amazon Summer Intern 2024. Hello Ishika. Hello ma'am. So we would like you to give a small introduction about yourself. Thank you ma'am. Thank you everyone for having me here. So my name is Ishika Singh and I am a student of ABS Engineering College. Currently I am pursuing Bachelors of Technology in Computer Science and Engineering and I am a third year student. Well, I have a keen interest in learning data structures and algorithms. On the same time, I am an active competitive programmer. Alongside, I love to read books and uh, explore new places. That's the fun thing I do. Uh, thank you. Cool stuff, Ishika. So, uh, let's begin with how did you get to know about this opportunity? Like, getting a man company is a very big thing for all of us. So, how did you get to know about this opportunity? Uh, okay. So, well, I have applied to Amazon Wow, but uh, this year they also had a contest named as Code Elevate, which was in partnership with Coursera. So, I have appeared for the same test. The test pattern was somewhat like having uh, some aptitude based question, some DSA based questions, and also there were some coding questions, like there are three coding questions at the same time. Uh, apart from this, after appearing for the test, we got to know that you will either get the internship somewhat of application or else you will be getting a free course of it. Uh, on the result day, I got a mail from Amazon to apply for SE two-month internship program and they told me that I have to apply for it and then I'll, they'll be sharing the rest of the details. So this is how I have applied to this. Okay. So for the first part, code, code derivative. So what type of portions were there? If you categorize them in easy, medium and hard, how would you say? Okay, uh, so when I would say the question level was uh, hard for the second one, the first one was medium. Apart from this, the aptitude questions were like uh, okay with it, but there were some questions based on uh, SDLC, that is the how this life of software development so, happens and how does this entire project happen, like yeah. when do you choose to uh, recover things or analyze the stuff. So these were the questions which were really out of box and you have to put up your mind and for that you can go through some uh, extra things. Like I love to read extra blogs about it. So that helped me a lot. Um, and that's all it is. Yeah. So fair enough, we know that this is a subject of third year as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right, software development. Yes. Okay. So if we say what was the further step after code anyway, mm -hmm. like what was the next step that after the uh, mail that you received, mm -hmm. what was the mail about? Okay, so on the result day of uh, code elevate, I received this mail which asked me to apply for it. Uh, after applying on 29th of July, uh, I just received one test ring which I have to and there was also written that you have to apply for the test as early as possible because if you apply earlier, it makes your chance better to get into the company. So I have applied on the very same day, I, I appeared for the test and I gave the test. The test was having two parts. The first part was work-life assessment, which had the questions related to that. How would you work in the company? What were uh, things you would do in certain situations so that they could know your personality better? Because it's equally important to get into the company technically as well as uh, to have your you know, uh, personality so well that you can get into the team. Second part was of this test was having two coding questions, the two DSA based questions. I would rate them hard level questions because both of them took a lot of time. The first question I was able to solve completely. The second one I solved out of 15, there were 13 pieces passed. So almost all of them. Uh, apart from this, the topics I could say that you could practice segment free, uh, graph and also dynamic programming which will be used in strings. So if we talk about the work-life balance, so we know that Amazon actually focuses on work-life balance. Like it gave it in a part of online assessment too. Okay, so what was the next experience that you had after this online assessment? Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, so the next thing was that I got the result after four days of appearing to the test that I have uh, qualified for this test and next step is getting an interview. There will be only one round of interview for me and uh, that interview was scheduled on um, 10th of August, like four days, six days after the May. Uh, so I got the interview scheduled and uh, there was just interview and that was also technical. There were no such HR interviews in this case. Okay, so the interview, like uh, what was your interview experience? I guess as a second year you appeared for that yeah. interview. 
So what was the like the first interview experience you had? Uh, you're right, ma'am. So that time I was currently in second year and also was appearing for my university exam. So there was a lot of panic thing going on, uh, and also I was very nervous because this was my first interview. Uh, so what happened that um, I prepared like all the things which I have uh, done way before the DSA thing, all the questions which I have done before, all the notes I made of like short things I wrote down that these are the important topics or important key things you should remember. And uh, those things I just revised up and then I just sat up for the interview and also I would say that uh, you should be well dressed and well prepared for the introduction. So I also prepared my introduction before going to the interview. So the soft skills teachers actually, the advices they give are very much important. So they are. Okay, so the questions that were asked in your interview, like uh, what, how will you categorize them? What kind of questions were there? What kind of data structures were there? Or how many questions were there? Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. So there were like uh, three questions they asked me. The very first question was I would rate medium level. The second question I would say it was of medium heart. Uh, and the third question was of heart level. So these three questions uh, were mainly on the topics like uh, 2.0, uh, DP in string, uh, DP in graph. And, uh, and one of the questions was solely of graph. So you should revise up these important topics like dynamic programming, graph, uh, two pointers and some important algorithms also. So was it algorithm based technical interview or were you asked to code them as well? No, I was asked to code them. Uh, so the procedure was that they asked me the brute force approach first. You have to explain them that what is the time complexity of a brute force approach, uh, the most naive approach, I would say. The second thing they asked me is to optimize my approach, uh, and I have to explain my optimized approach firsthand. Second thing after that was that you have to code it. You have to write the main function, not the entire code, like not the main function uh, that would run the code, but the function that uh, how would things go on. Uh, later on, they give you the test cases and ask you to dry run. Uh, while dry running the code, you have to also explain the, each and every line that how you're going through it and why any line you wrote in the code is important. Uh, later on, they ask you some add-on questions like uh, how did you optimize the time complexity and why would you write this. And they also ask us some questions like just remove this line and put this line. Now, what would be the change? So you must be prepared for the questions, just not by rote learning but deep learning and understanding that why anything you write in a code does matter. So if I ask you about like what type of uh, coding platform they provided you during the interview, like most people of like us, uh, we use Visual Studio etc. So was it Notepad like experience or they had their own platform or they asked you to share the screen? Uh, okay. uh, so ma'am, uh, uh, Amazon has their own portfolio and portfolio. Uh, port, uh, Portal. Yeah, exactly the portal, sorry. Uh, so there you have to appear for the test uh, and the meeting thing is also their personal, like they don't go for Zoom or uh, Google Meet. Uh, they have their kind new meeting where you have to appear for this and the second thing was that they'll give you the editor. There was nothing like ID where you have had to run the code exactly. Uh, there was just a text editor where the interviewer used to put up the question and you have to just write down your code and that was documented. So that they further contact with the HR, they write the notes over there and they share that how you're writing the code. Okay. So this is how it happened. Uh, so it was basically an editor, like not the running ID. Okay. So how was the overall experience you had? Like the excitement to get into Amazon, like yeah. how much after the interview you got to be Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is something like uh, which was the most toughest time I would say. Like after giving your best and appearing for entire long term procedure, you have to wait for the results. You don't even know that after how many days will you receive it. So typically they give the results in three to four days. But because after my uh, interview, they don't like long weekend holidays because of Independence Day and all. So I have to wait longer. Uh, every day I used to just get up and check my Gmail, like if in case I have received the results. And one fine day I just got my results and it was like a wonderful situation and I just loved it and I just shared it with my friends and family and they actually liked it. So congratulations. So the one thing that I would ask you like what will be your advice for everyone like how do they prepare for it what is your strategy for everyone who will be appearing for it next year. Okay uh, so I will share what I did. Uh, so the very first thing I did was I started early. So the very first step for all of you is that to start as early as possible. 
second thing i did was that i first focused on just learning one single language because uh, that was the key thing uh, if you run behind all the programming languages that won't lead to anything i stick to c++ after learning c uh, the third thing i did was i contacted a lot of my seniors so you must talk to a lot of seniors and actually gain their experiences and how did they achieve whatever they did so this will help you in your journey so my senior suggested me some platform like code forces so i just stick to the code forces thing and i consistently solved uh, code forces question for around 7 months uh, at this time it was not doing bsa so one more tip is that you should focus on one thing at a time just do not get into a lot of thing at a single time so you just that will help you a lot to focus so i was never into multitasking after doing code forces for a sufficient amount of time and gaining confidence over problem solving skill i moved to dsc uh, for dsc i firstly i moved to jfg and then later on solved problems of elite code uh, i have followed religiously i would say uh, love bubble for 50 dsc sheet and that is something i did for multiple times i remember before amazon interview i have solved that sheet for about 4 to 5 times Uh, so this is something you keep on doing and keep on revising it. So this is the tip for me from my side, and I wish you all a uh, best of luck for everything. So we wish you all the best <laughs> for your experience further. So this was Ashika Singh, and we hope that she will be able to help you out with any doubts you have further. You can comment about it. Rather than that, you can even contact her. I guess we so, we we should always be in touch with the senior. That's just one more point that I'm coming. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, thank you, ma'am.